Hello, my name is Josephine Stoppelenburg and I'll be talking a little bit about melismas and how to practice them. A melisma is something that is used often in Baroque music. It's a quick succession of notes. Handel really likes to use them a lot. Listen to this little excerpt in his Gloria. <laughs> was one of them. This particular piece actually has a lot of them. To me it's easier to perform them if I've practiced them really thoroughly. If I break things down in little segments my brain can deal with it better than if I just look at it at one long difficult line. So I would break them down thinking oh, 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 oh. So I'd emphasize the first one of every four to kind of get that into my brain. Then I'd make it a little bit more difficult, like singing them in more difficult rhythms. Okay, and now let's do it the other way around. Now, to me, it also helps to first emphasize the first of every four, then the second of every four, the third and the fourth, like this. Now, let's take the second. Now, the third. I actually have to look at my music for this one. And then the fourth. Now the way I breathe in those things, what helps me a lot, is actually to breathe quite high. Now usually for singing you want to breathe kind of deep, but if I breathe very deeply into those ones it gets a bit heavy and you lose too much air. If I use what I call chihuahua breathing it actually goes much easier. If you pretend like you're a chihuahua and you breathe like that kind of high and you sing through it it's much easier <laughs> etc much easier than when you go with the full body now the whole goal of practicing like that for me is basically to get out of the way of the music if my brain knows what to do and my voice muscles know what to do I can just relax and kind of seal through the music <laughs>